What's up Cubers? My name is Kenneth. Today I'm going to talk about parity and I'm going to talk about it in the context of this puzzle. This is the tri dot from David Pitcher. It's one of the puzzles he sent me. Um, definitely check out the unboxing video I did of all of them. They're really cool puzzles. So I'm going to talk about parity and the reason is is I've had a lot of requests uh, to talk about this from my cube theory videos and it's definitely one I've kind of shied away from because I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to the math behind parodies, what makes them happen, uh, why they happen. Um, and there's a really great video, you guys should check it out from the Mathologer on parody, but it's not really in the context of cubes. So definitely leave a comment and tell him to, uh, to make another video in the context of cubing. Um, and I'm gonna talk about uh, the context of trying to solve issues like this, uh, kind of the strategies I've used to solve them. And that's what I'm good at, I can solve puzzles so I'm gonna talk about kind of the approach I take when I see a parody like this one. So first let's talk a little bit about how I came across this parody and a little bit more about this puzzle, the tri-dot. So the tri-dot, I was uh, solving it and I, I figured out a couple algorithms. Let me tell you the three algorithms that I came up with. The first one switches one of these leaf pieces with one of the leaf pieces on the bottom. So that's the first algorithm. The second one will orient the leaf pieces. So sometimes these leaves would become misoriented and they stick out really funny. So I came up with an algorithm to orient a single leaf. And the final algorithm I came up with would cycle the three dots. And using those three, I figured I could solve the puzzle. And sure enough, I did. I solved the puzzle once, I solved the puzzle twice. May have even solved it a third time, but I forget if it was the third or fourth time I tried solving it, I came into this situation came into this parody where the dots, just these two dots need to switch and nothing else. And I have no algorithms to do that. So I had to come up with a way to solve it. So this is kind of the parodies I'm talking about that uh, sometimes you run into when you solve a puzzle, when you solve a new twisty puzzle. The first thing you really have to do when you come into a problem like this is you really have to step back and ask yourself, why is this parody happening? What's going on with this puzzle? Uh, where it seems like I have to just solve, uh, just switch two pieces and nothing else, that really does seem impossible. So uh, when looking at this puzzle, you think, well, if these two switch, what else could switch to make it work, to make the puzzle uh, still solved? And uh, that, that's kind of the first question I always ask. So the, fir the first thing I really did was I did my one of my algorithms that I already knew. So that switched one of these leaves with one of the ones on the bottom. So let's do that algorithm now. It looks like this. So there we go. We've switched this leaf piece with that leaf piece. And you notice anything else about the puzzle? Hey, look, our parity's gone. Or is it? I guess it's just a different parity. Now only these two pieces have to switch. So that's kind of the first thing I noticed. Uh, that really kind kind of uh, gave me that epiphany on what I needed to do to solve this puzzle. So uh, what that means is every time I switch one piece from the top to the bottom, it also swaps two dots. Uh, the first time I, I move one from the top to the bottom, it put the, the puzzle in the parity state. The second time it got it out of the parity state. Uh, the third time it put it back in and so forth. So uh, now I'm in this parity state. So let me put it back. So now I'm in the parity state, and from this state, when I switch one from the top to one to the bottom, that gets me out of the state, and if I do it a second time, it'll put me back into the state. So for me to get out of this state, I have to make a swap uh, an odd number of times. And for, that seems really difficult, because if I swap a green one with a purple one, that I need to undo that to solve the puzzle, and so I, I need to do an even number of times. So that's kind of what got me in the state. So I need to do it an odd number of times and that will fix it. And also uh, another way to think about it is if I switch two of these uh, centers or if I switch the two dots, I also need to switch one leaf with another leaf. And I don't wanna switch one green one with a purple one because then those will be broken. What I really wanna do is switch one green one with another green one. So if I switch these two green ones and these two dots, that will fix this parity. And so that is kind of the epiphany I had to make to solve it. So let's see if I can do that. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a swap. So let's do one swap, looks like this. So remember it has to be an odd number of times, so that's one swap. 
Uh, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to switch a green one with a green one. So let's do that. So we bring the green one down. We're going to switch that green one with this green one. So this is swap number two. Oops, wrong way. Swap number two. So we've done an even number of swaps. And now we're going to do our odd number of swaps. We're going to swap these two. And that should solve our parity. So this is our third number, third swap. There we go, we solved the parity. So that's how I figured out the parity on this puzzle. I hope it wasn't too confusing and I hope you guys can use that uh, for future puzzles that you guys try to solve. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comments below. And that's it guys, thanks for watching and of course, have a great day.